Hallo und herzlich willkommen auf der Bühne im Netz von Kultur vor Ort von Bremen Gröpeling. Hello and welcome to the Bühne im Netz from Bremen in Germany and from Argentina also. Mein Name ist Eva Bischoff und es freut mich sehr, dass ihr von überall auf der Welt den Weg zu uns gefunden habt. Denn heute gibt es einen ganz besonderen Anlass. Denn wir haben Besuch von Leuten vom Projekt Once Upon a Time. Es war einmal. Die Übersetzung in Spanisch macht meine Kollegin Camilla Neder. I am very happy that you take the time to be here with us, no matter where are you in the world. And today is really a very special occasion. My colleague's name is Eva, and my name is Camila Neder. I am a biologist from Argentina, so happy flag states if you're here in Argentina. And I live in a, in a city called Rio Ceballos, surrounded by land, but even though I really love the sea. Today, it's really, we have the pleasure to introduce you to the project Once Upon a Time, and even I just introduced myself too. Das Besonderste an Once Upon a Time ist, dass WissenschaftlerInnen, ExpertInnen, aber auch KünstlerInnen der ganzen Welt zusammenarbeiten. Angefangen hat das Ganze aber Marum an der Universität Bremen in Deutschland. Once Upon a Time brings together scientists, experts and artists from all over the world. But it started at Marum at the University of Bremen in Germany. Ich zum Beispiel, ich wohne in Bremen in, in Bremen in Deutschland. Aber wir haben heute auch Leute, die kommen aus den Niederlanden, aus Spanien natürlich, aus der Türkei, aus den USA und aus Argentinien. So I presented already myself. I am Camila and I here in Argentina. But as Eva, my colleague, was mentioning, we have all around people from the world, from the Netherlands, from the United States, from Argentina also, from, Sp from Spain. So welcome to everybody. And we're here not alone. So I will let us also our friends to introduce themselves briefly. So also, if you want, you can chat and interact with us in the chat below here in our um, in our Zoom meeting that we are having to share where are you from, which is your name, and whatever you want to tell us too. So please, Sara and Pablo, welcome too. Hey, thanks, Kelly. My name is Sarah, and I'm working as a PhD student in Bremerhaven, which is also in Germany. Hello, I'm very happy to be here. My name is Pablo, Pablo Marticio. I'm from Argentina. I'm a teacher of English. And I live very close to Camila's home in Unquillo. It's a beautiful place full of mountains and, and beautiful sights. Yeah, thanks for the introductions. Before we jetzt mit der eigentlichen Geschichte anfangen, noch ein kleiner rechtlicher Hinweis. Wir nehmen die Veranstaltung heute auf. Wir können Ihnen aber versichern, dass Ihr Kind zu keiner Zeit zu sehen ist. Wenn Sie sich trotzdem nicht wohlfühlen, können Sie gerne Ihre Kamera ausschalten. Ansonsten freuen wir uns über alle eingeschalteten Kameras. Before we begin, I have to announce a quickly legal note. We are recording the event today. However, we can assure that your child will not be seen at any time. But if you still feel uncomfortable, please feel free to turn off your camera. Otherwise, we are more than happy for every camera that it is turn it on. Lasst uns also mit der Geschichte beginnen. Let's start with the story. Okay, the lonely bacterium and her friends. Sarah was a bacterium who lived on the surface of the open ocean, the part of the ocean furthest away from the coast. She often felt lonely because she was very shy, even when trying to talk to her friends. Her friends were outgoing, like Roseobacter, who was so pink and glamorous and always surrounded by algae cells. And the glutton, Alteromonas, who could spend the whole day eating nonstop. Sarah preferred the quiet and peaceful life, looking up at the sun, drifting slowly here and there on the marine currents. Still, she missed someone that she could share that peace and tranquility with. Okay, before we keep on going with Sarah the Bacterium's story, I have to 
ask you a question. Who knows who what a bacteria is? Does anyone here know? Someone of you wants to say something about? If not, we can help to you. A bacteria, it's a very, very tiny organism, a living organism. We call it a microorganism because it, we need a tool that it's a microscope to see them. But we are for sure think that bacteria, all of them are very bad for us. But no, we have a lot of bacteria in our bodies and that are also helping us. A bacteria looks like this, for example. It can cause some diseases, as I said, but um, it can also help us. So let's keep on going with the story to see how this Sara di Bacterium is talking about us. Far away on land, in a very big city, the way of life was very fast and stressful. People moved quickly from one place to another with shiny new cars, aeroplanes, boats, and trains. Factories and industrial plants produced all kinds of things all day long, nonstop manufacturing to feed the rapid growth of the city and its people. In that city, all the houses had tall chimneys to keep the people warm and cozy as the winters were quite harsh. Exhaust pipes, chimneys, smokestacks, and funnels spewed out thousands upon thousands of little, petty, atmospheric horribles. They preferred to call themselves pretty amazing handsomes, as you will see later, but for now, we will simply refer to them as PAHs every day. The PAHs came in many different shapes and sizes and of course had different characters. Some were light and liked flying, like the small and stinky nafty, who even killed moths that flew too close. The grouch, Pier, was always full of dirt and soot. He played and bothered everyone with his mess. Fluo, who couldn't avoid glowing in the dark, made anyone sick if they got too close to him. The most dangerous, though, was the Benzo Pyres gang. They were always smoking and bullying others. If you met them in the street, you'd better run away. In the big city, the amount of PAHs was growing and growing, with some of them starting to move upwards into the gray sky. Beyond the clouds and smoke, they found an awesome blue sky to escape to. Some of them flew so high that they went up into the direction of the sun and never came back. Others met the OTOs hazards. We will call them OHs. OHs are crazy party goers, always on the move and dancing. If a PAH danced with one, it was impossible to escape. The binge had begun. However, most of the POAHs continued flying and traveling toward bluer and bluer areas. And then the bluest thing in the world appeared just below them. Blue? Did you say blue? What can you imagine that it is blue and really, really big? Did I listen to the sky? No, that's a really good one, but we are not meaning the sky. It just... Once more chance, Some, someone that wants to tell something? It is the blue ocean, the ocean, it is really big and blue. One day, when Sarah was looking up at the sky, she noticed something falling into the water. It was a little smaller than her and had a geometric shape, almost like a diamond. It was the first time she had ever seen anything like it. What could it be? She decided to help it. Hi, I'm a bacterium and my name is Sara. What's your name? My name is Nafti. I belong to the Pretty Amazing Handsomes. 
I have just arrived from the big city far away. I'm new to the ocean. How did you get here? Flying over the sky. What a cool trip. I had so much fun. I was blasted out of the exhaust pipe of a car. I was flying for several days before I fell down here. I lost some of my friends on the way, but I'm sure they will arrive eventually. Oh. Since Nafti didn't know how to swim, he clung onto Sarah's cell envelope and never left. Sarah couldn't have been happier. Finally, she had found somebody to play with all day long. And Nafti was right. After he arrived, more PAH molecules started landing on the surface of the ocean. They all clung to Sarah, but she couldn't have been more delighted. Sarah became so chatty, going here and there with her friends. The PAHs drove her crazy, tickling her all day. After a week, Sarah began to need a little more personal space. These new friends never left her alone, always there, always tickling her. Rather than pretty amazing handsomes, they seemed more like petty atmospheric horribles. At least they should leave her alone to sleep, right? Guys, you know, this is starting to be a toxic friendship. You don't let me anything do alone. Could you please go away for a while? Just please. But there was nothing to be done, as neither Nafti nor any of the other PAHs knew how to swim. They never left Sarah's side. She was desperate. She tried swimming really fast, baking under the sun, looping the loop, sweating, anything to get rid of the PAHs, but all to no avail. The PAHs seemed like they would be attached forever. New ones didn't stop falling from the sky either. And since Sarah was very small, they started disturbing other bigger animals in the ocean. The PAHs were so numerous that they did not care if they were attached to a small bacterium or the largest coral reef. They just annoyed anyone who happened to be passing by or lived where they fell. Some fish, like the sea bass and the sea bream, were in trouble. The PAHs were entering through their gills and their mouths, sticking to their scales and skin, and then the poor animals started feeling sick. Even huge gray whales were troubled by them. What a huge indigestion of PAHs. There are many creatures in the ocean, and there are different animals and different plants. There are really a lot of organ different organisms. Can you recognize some of those here in this picture? Can you share something with us if you see something? I can see a whale, for example. Do you see the whale? This is a big whale. We can also have some fish, for example. Do you find a fish? Yay, there it is. We also have some algae. Algae are not animals, are like the plants from the terrestrial, but in the marine area. And we also have something that for sure you know, the anemonas. You might think also in some movies uh, that anemonas are appearing. Then you can share with us where you found them. The coral reefs, which could not move or escape, simply stopped growing. The individual polyps, which form the great and colorful reefs, closed themselves to avoid the PAHs, and they stopped producing larvae, eating, and even breathing. The zooplankton shoal, formed of very small animals floating in the ocean, were lucky. Most of those tiny animals, like Kopi and his friends, could get away from the PAHs by simply bombarding them with their eggs and poo. Once PAHs were hit, they would sink directly into the depths of the ocean. Sarah didn't want to end up like the corals, not growing or breathing. She tried to get advice from her friend Roseobacter, who was parting with some algal cells as usual. Hey, Roseo, I need your help. 
these PAHs won't leave me alone. I can't get rid of them. Sarah, I have no idea how you could get rid of them. Please go away. You're spreading a disgusting stench through all these PAHs. Please, Sarah, please go away. Your stench is going to scare away my uh, microalgae friends. Then Sarah passed close by to a squid where she saw a vibrio bacterium sitting comfortably on its tentacle. Hey, Sarah, why don't you try glowing? Maybe the PAHs will be afraid of light and leave you alone. Sarah tried really hard, but she couldn't produce any light. She left in tears. Having close friends had been her dream, but now it was turning into a nightmare. Altera Monas, the biggest glutton among the bacteria, found her looking very sad and exhausted after so much nonstop tickling. Hey, Sarah, what's up? I see you have new touch to your body. I love these shapes. May I try one, please? Sarah had no time to answer before Altera Monas started devouring Nafti, then Fluo, then Pier, and even the fearsome Benzopyres gang. Yum, yum, so delicious. Um, are you sure these are eatable ones at Altera Monas? Okay, I will try one. Mm. All right, not my taste, but it works. Altera Monas had just found the best solution for getting rid of the PAHs. Eating them. Sarah could eat a second, and another, and another. And this way, she got rid of all of the troublesome PAHs in the ocean. All the marine wildlife was so happy. And they all lived or ate happily ever after. But the story is not ended really, because the story ending you can share with us wherever you can imagine. So did you like it also the story? Would you like to make out your own ending? Would you draw that for us? You can share it in our social media from Bune Inet or also from Once Upon a Time, a scientific fairy tale. Liebe Kinder und liebe Eltern, wer hat an der Uhr gedreht? Ist es wirklich schon so spät? Wir sind am Ende von unserer Veranstaltung heute angekommen. Es freut uns alle sehr, dass ihr dabei wart. Dear children and dear parents, it is really the time already over. We have reached the end of our event today. We are very happy that you were there and here with us and we thank you for that. Wir wünschen euch allen noch einen wunderbaren Sonntag.